don't usually do tip or guide type videos, but the Tale of Setsubun is actually one of my favorite events for many reasons. Almost all the quests are only one AP each, which is just great for those of you guys who don't have too many apples left, especially after the Da Vinci event. That and the event doesn't require any farming at all. At all. So, bruh. This is a great event already. Yet it gives a good amount of materials and items as rewards, so it's still worth playing. And it also has a very unique system that makes the event both fun and challenging at the same time. The only real downsides to the event is that it doesn't give any free four star servant, which isn't really anything new. A lot of events beforehand have done that, so it's not that big of a deal. And the event is only a week long, so if you don't have too much time in your hands, then this might not be the event for you. I guess another downside is that the event isn't really beginner friendly, but we'll get to that in a bit. The first thing you need to know about this event is that with the exception of the challenge quests, you are not allowed. You are absolutely restricted from using a support or a friend's servant. This means that all six slots in your team must be filled with your own servants. Which brings us to the next big restriction in this event. Each time you clear a floor quest, the entire team you brought will be unavailable and exhausted for four hours. In other words, each servant you bring to a quest will be unavailable to use again for four hours in the event after quest completion. You can still use these servants outside the event as normal, that's totally fine. But until they recover from the four hour exhaustion period, you have to use totally different servants for each consecutive quest. And there are a total of 200 floor quests as well again, only a week's worth of time to complete everything. So time is definitely of the essence. Thankfully, there is a hot springs feature that will allow you to put a maximum of five servants at a time. Servants in the hot spring will have their exhaustion time cut in half. So instead of four hours, you only have to wait two hours. Instead of let's say three hours, you only have to wait an hour and 30 and so on. This should go without saying that you should check up on your hot springs as often as possible to make sure you are getting as many servants in and out of there as possible to make the most out of your time. In my opinion, the most efficient way to complete the event is to only bring one, just one, optimally or fully trained servant to each floor quest. With a craft essence that gives NP gauge at the start like Kaleidoscope or Imaginary Element. A quick Google search will show you that most of these quests are actually really easy and only consist of one wave of three enemies, sometimes two waves of two to three enemies, but nothing too insane. Just bust out a decent AOE servant with Kaleidoscope or Imaginary Element and you should be golden. That said, I really, I seriously do not recommend bringing a full team of six because there is no point to get six servants exhausted for four hours each when most of these quests could be completed with one or two servants at a time. In general, a team of two or more servants is not really necessary until you reach the boss fights, which happens at every 10th floor. So floor 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, all the way to 200. All of these floors have boss fights that may force you to bring an actual team. But really, this depends on who you have, who you have trained, what kind of craft distance you have. Because looking at the earlier boss fights, especially the ones below floor 100, a lot of them can still be done relatively easily with just one fully trained servant. But again, depends who you have, depends on who you train, depends on your craft distance, depends on how long have you been playing this game. Regardless, only bring your top tier OP servants like your Merlins, your Ku Alters, your Heracles, your Gil meshes all these op servants to these boss fights there's no reason to bring them to the normal floor quest at all this is also why i said this event is not really beginner friendly because if you've only been playing for let's say six months then more likely than not you don't have too many servants trained anyway so this event is probably not for you you could still play it but don't expect to complete all 200 quests unless you put so much time and effort into it which hey more respect to you keep in mind though that the event does give you an exclusive craft essence that buffs your servants attack damage by 100 or 200 if you decide to max limit break it. So even weaker servants who are not fully trained will still pack a punch given this craft essence. Whether or not you do want to limit break it to get that full 200% attack boost, that's all up to you. So I hope you guys somewhat enjoyed this short guide video. I wanted to keep it as simple and straightforward as possible. Hopefully you guys have a plan going into the Tale of Setsubun and if you don't, then it's not really that big of a deal because again, it doesn't give a free servant. The only thing exclusive is the craft essence. So you're not really missing out on too much besides a couple of tickets, a couple of ascension items and so on. So don't be too stressed about finishing the event. Honestly, it's just for long time players, for players who like a challenge. And hey, if you like a challenge and you're a beginner, more power to you go ahead and slay this event i wish you good luck i also wish you guys good luck who's gonna try for the gacha with kentoki who is getting a reanimation mama raiko and shuten as well as tomoe goes in as a four star servant so if you guys are rolling in that gacha good luck to you hopefully you get who you want of course like the video if you like it dislike it if you disliked it and you don't like anything i said throughout this entire video and comment down below let me know if you are ready for setsubun if you are going to be rolling the gacha if you have a plan going into it and of course subscribe to become a supporting character to me the main character because without you guys i'd be the only character and that would suck 
that would honestly suck assholes. That's the first cuss of this entire video. That way, I don't have to make my video PG. Thank God. Thank God. Fuck. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.